Hi everybody, I'm Chiara and today I'm going to show you an overview of the Inspect Safety application. Firstly, let's see what the application page looks like. There is a navigation bar at the top with items that I will describe later. At the top right hand corner, a button allows disconnecting from the control unit and an admin button allows logging in either as an administrator or a regular user. In this latter case, the user will only be permitted to view the current configuration, as opposed to having full modification privileges as an administrator. Now, let's take a look at the menu items. The dashboard summarizes all the key system parameters, such as the system status, digital inputs and outputs, and other settings. The configuration page is where we set the working parameters of the sensors, including the detection distance, the angular coverage, the safety working mode and the restart timeout. The settings page contains various system settings, such as digital input-output configuration, network parameters, field bus and modbus parameters, activity history, as well as many other features that will be covered in the next videos. The validation page helps show the detected targets and have related information in real time. This is super helpful to make sure that the installation is performing as expected. The left-hand side of the dashboard shows the status of each system component. In this example, we have one control unit and two sensors. The color of each icon status indicates the status of the component. When orange, it means that the system has yet to be configured. If it's green, the component is working properly. Finally, red indicates an error. The first time we log in, the icon status next to the device is orange. Let's see how to take care of this. We just need to configure the system. The Apply Changes button will commit the changes we made to the system and transfer them to the control unit. Otherwise, if we're not satisfied with the changes, we just need to click on the Refresh Configuration button and try again. In the center of the page, we can find a list of all the digital inputs and outputs, with all the functions assigned to them. On the right-hand side, there is a summary of the current settings. For an in-depth overview of the configuration of Inkswell devices, don't miss the next video! Thanks for watching! See you soon!